My name is Anand Bean and today I would like to use Quarkus to convert a CDI and JAXRS application into an executable, self-contained executable, executable running on my machine without Java. So what I would like to do is to start with the setup and I would like to create a Quarkus project with the group ID AirHacks. Native is the uh, project ID, version is fine, REST resource is fine and I would like to have the hello. So now let's open an editor. And uh, what I would like to do today is to start with the uh, process and the process should compile the application and use the um, hot replacement mode. So Quarkus dev and it will watch the changes behind the scenes on an every re browser reload will uh, also reload the application, which is really convenient. And uh, what happened so far, we only have one hello resource. And in order to use CDI, I will have to create at least one additional class and let's call it hello service. And uh, we need the package. It's going to be the air hacks. What we also need, we need a class hello service with uh, without the Java doc. And then uh, what we also need, we need a public method um, hello return native Quarkus. So we have that, and uh, I also will have to do to add request scoped because there is no bin XML and there is no bin XML. Only annotated classes are going to be injected. And now, what I get is the hello service service, and I would like to use that. So this looks good. Uh, we could try that before we try it. What I would like to do is to delete the unit test and the reason for that is uh, the expected response is hello and we have already a native Quarkus. So I would like to delete that because we don't need this. And uh, so let's keep that. And uh, we don't need this as well. So delete the directory as well. Okay, both are gone. So uh, we have that. This is the uh, endpoint available. So I would like to switch to the browser and say this is my endpoint. Seems to work. And with hello, we have native Quarkus. So the nice thing is, as you can see, it reloaded this in uh, in no time. And what I could do now, say hello Quarkus 2, um, reload the page and this is already reloaded in uh, very fast. So now, um, now go one step further. So what I would like to do is now I would like to um, start with the native compilation and it will compile the project. Actually the compile is included within the package. So we just package and verify the project. And uh, this can take some time. It will take some time. It uses substrate VM behind the scenes and it uses the Graal VM. So you will have to download the Graal VM, replace the open JDK with Graal VM contents and the Graal VM is, uh, and you will need to set up the Graal, Graal VM home. And uh, so now, now it will take some time. So what I would like to do is uh, to work through the POM. So and what the POM comes with is the BOM, which uh, comprises all the dependencies to uh, Quarkus dependencies. We only need the REST Easy and the ARC. REST Easy is JAXRS and ARC is CDI. JUnit and uh, REST Assured are actually, no, not actually, are fully optional. And um, we use the Maven plugin for development mode and the Surefire plugin in order to, uh, it, we, as you can see, there is the Java UT logging manager set up to the uh, JBoss log manager. But what happens right now, I started the native profile here, yeah, profile minus P native, and it uses the uh, Quarkus Maven plugin with the goal of native image which kicks in the uh, no native uh, creation process and it examines now all the dependencies and creates one self-contained executable image which can be run natively on the, on the machine without any dependencies to uh, install Java. So after that, I would expect two, uh, two, two deployables. One uh, it should be called native runner and the other one, uh, the uh, the Java runner, two versions, and uh, yeah, it uh, these are the last seconds to go, and 
we should see the result. Um, why it takes so long? Because it examines all the surrounding dependencies and creates the image. So now within the target, within the target folder, uh, we get now the native runner and the Java runner. So I would like to start with the Java runner first and say runner. And uh, it started, so we can examine this again. Seems to work. And the interesting part is uh, what I would like to do is to uh, take a look at the um, at the Java process. And um, so let's switch here. And so kill that. So, and now I would like to launch the native carcass. And this is this one. And I would like to examine that. And this is actually the size of the image. So real memory sizes are about 107 megabytes. So now do the same with the native image. So I would just go with the native runner. And it, st it started immediately. So it's really fast. The startup time is 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 is, is very fast, and uh, it's called native. So we we can actually compare that. And the size, the real size, is uh, fourteen meg. So this is uh, a fraction of the origin size. So with Quarkus, if you have the requirements, you can actually, or actually, you can create a small microservices which are self-contained and start really really fast. So now, what's the size of the image? It's also interesting. So I would like to switch to here and compare the sizes. And the native image comes with 20 megs, which is not as big. Of course, the, the, the runner jar, Java jar, is tiny, but it references libraries from the lib folder. So thank you for watching. See you at uh, on upcoming conferences, AirHacks in Munich, so where we cover MicroProfile, Jakarta, Java E, and web standards. And uh, yeah, or even in projects. So thank you and bye.